Greetings and salutations, welcome back to another Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard. We're continuing with the third Rome achievements. And we'd like to do the redecorating, or have to start as an Orthodox nation. Control Roma and institute a consecrated metropolitan there. So we need to convert it to Orthodox and then use the Consecrate Metropolitan option. So our options would be Byzantium. We did play Byzantium not too long ago with a viewer request. Uh, anything in the Russian region, but we've done a lot of that. Um, Georgia, but I imagine we'll be playing them with the next patch, next expansion, whatever it is that does the rework. So we could play here. But I've tried it a few times, trying to get several different achievements with Lakia, and they frustrated me. <laughs> so we're going to try Serbia, just to change it up a little bit. So I tried this once with Serbia, and uh, Ottomans like only had 20,000 troops, and they were split up. And they weren't paying this fort, so I just attacked them by myself, hoping that I could encourage somebody else to pile in. Um, and I was actually doing well against them for a while, but eventually it ended exactly how you think it would end. When you try to solo Ottomans as Serbia in the early game. So we're going to redo this. I also tried it uh, with a custom nation, see if that currently works, and it does not. It rule back the patch 1.21, and then I believe custom nations still work for the Greek one and the Consecrated Metropolitan. But we want to get legit. So we could improve relations with Bosnia. I see no good reason to do that. Instead, we are going to rival them, of course. Conquer Ravania, definitely going to do that. And our air is a babbling buffoon. 2 1 1, not very good. Who's volunteering to lead an army? He's very good at that either. He's good enough. Make three units of troops. Got a merchant here. Straight forward there. Don't have enough sailors. To use all of these. We could use these three to hunt pirates here. Sorry if I'm moving quickly through this. Embargo. I'm not going to do this here because we want the option to declare war right away. Uh, we also want to keep the Ottomans from being able to get a claim on us. I don't want them to get a claim on us. We definitely don't want to be hostile towards them. We want to be threatened. By them. That could potentially get us an alliance with Austria. Maybe even Hungary. So they're closer. Start working on that. And I think that's good enough to get us started. Go ahead and get a little bit more gold there. And we definitely want to yank this from our clergy and give them something else instead. Okay, so that's our start. Uh, we also want to set ourselves as threatened by Venice. Just friendly to those two. And just in case, it's personal friendly to all sorts of other people. You like us? Circle one, yes or no. I 
Rather not with the Pope. Because we need Roma. I'm hoping that they don't get in the lights. So, we're going to attack them as soon as we get the opportunity. So here they'll probably try to get themselves up north. Wait till they're locked in. Ah. We have other moves that we need to be doing too. Okay, so we did crush them. these guys out there. And no one's guaranteed them or anything, which is great news. We need to be quick about this. Put ourselves over to Kosovo. And if the Ottomans attack, we need to beat them there. Should be... yeah, special interest. It's the same here, good. That should be ish. Let's do that. And then we're going to mark my rival here. I don't actually want to engage them yet. I want them to leave the province, if possible. Let's get there before they do. We did get there first. Good. And we'll make Ottomans like us a little bit more. Sounds good. I'm sneak past us here. That's fine. Venice will tack him in, they'll go over there and see to that. Okay, I mean, I could live with this. Pull these guys out. Ants. And... England are at war. Now let's get the prestige, because it'll help us with morale and trade power and burn off the rest of expansion. Now the mistake that a lot of nations, AI nations, make, like Venice, is trying to actually conquer this when it's got a core. For these people. So you either provoke war with Venice or Ottomans or both. We don't want to do that. We're not actually going to take the province. This is a humiliation war. That's what we wanted to do. That's what we are actually going to do. Causing a lot of attrition to other people. We're sort of draining Ottomans and Venice of their manpower, which actually helps keep us safe. Okay, we can't actually even move over there, so let's just move on to these mountains in case they get annexed, become rebels, and try to move back through. Three different points.
And we'll see if we can get a royal marriage. And I should say I don't have a lot of experience playing the Serbia recently. But they did try this earlier and they just went for that opportunity. Against Ottomans that I really shouldn't have. Do want to burn off aggressive expansion, but we're gonna get that guy instead. And get morale. We're going to be able to afford this stuff. Should have bumped that up before. Their support. Okay, we'll go for that. A little bit of aggressive expansion. Okay, I'm loving how much attrition we're causing everyone else to suffer here. I guess we could just let these guys go through. But they might stop along the way and cause us problems. So. And one thing that we could do if we really wanted to mess with them, as we could just hold on to the province and just wait. Until we get a call for peace. If we can cause anyone peace out. But I want to get this autonomy down, so that's not a good idea. Okay, so what we're going to do is humiliate them. We're going to enforce our religion on them and their rivalry with us so that we get some prestige. And that's it. Ragusa has rivaled us. We should be able to eclipse them pretty soon. Go ahead and get another unit there. Okay, Albanian trips got through. That's fine by us. Okay, let's take a look at how the alliance systems are lining up. So, Ferrara. No one we need to ally. Ride to Austria, so Juneau is off the list. That's not an option. Then we need to know about Florence. Florence is an option. Why don't we rival Florence? If we're going to the map, not going to happen. They're still guaranteed by the Ottomans. Okay, now we need to get an alliance to save us from the Ottomans. actually improve relations with them. I 
And Poland got their Union, which is nice. When I was playing as Wallachia, conquered Moldavia from them. So it was annoying when they got the Union. It just meant that they were tougher. Yeah, that run went well. I, I had Moldavia and all this region conquered. I conquered almost all of Lithuania, of all of Crimea and the Caucasus. But then there was the alliance between Ottomans and Muscovy. On top of that, then my ally Hungary invaded the empire. There's so many things that just went wrong in that run. <laughs> I haven't had the patience tried again. Let's get this alliance. As of yet, the elements haven't been able to get a claim on us. Now, they could always take the mission to conquer Serbia. They have this one, which is my favorite one for them to take, because they almost never actually attack for it. And if they do, it takes them a long time, and they end up having to fight Venice. It weakens their navy. Just all-around good stuff. Just kill off those rebels. Doesn't take much, much effort because of the terrain. Hopefully, Mehmet II will die because he's a militarist, and that means that he wants our territory as long as he's not guaranteeing us keep somebody else out. We really don't want to lose prestige, because it helps us burn off aggressive expansion. And the Ottomans have claimed that. So it doesn't make any sense to continue counter espionaging them. Try to pick up some allies. Okay, so we converted that. It's really great news. And England is going through the War of the Roses. Our nobility wants something, but we're going to give this to our clergy right away. We should pull that from our clergy as well. So our clergy is still annoyed with us. Go ahead and give them that to make them happier. But now our gold is no longer losing 25% of it to autonomy state. I build these happy with us. I'm going to go ahead and get some free manpower. They're trying to get manpower reserves. Need to recover anyway. Would increase autonomy. I'll take a look at what the stack size is 15 and what we can actually feed. 
Let's move on to the mountains here. Hey, Austria. And they are over in diplomatic relations, so we can't get an alliance with them. Go ahead and push embargo there. Send an insult there for power projection. We could increase the autonomy in some of these places. But I think we'll just deal with it. Let's get one more unit. And then we'll just consolidate down when he inevitably dies. Okay, Poland doesn't like us because we're allied to their rival Hungary. The rival to Hungary. They're hostile. One might be an ally. I'm thinking that Ferrara potentially somebody. And the reason why is that that would give us a landing point so that we could attack papacy. Steel could be a good ally. And they're not rivals with France. Suffering a little bit of attrition. That'll sort itself out. And it's best we can get our relations. So let's start working on Castile. Let me keep an eye on our time. Okay, 23 minutes. Yeah, this is basically like the start that I had last time, except I did end up increasing autonomy here. But I ended up facing a rebellion anyway, so... I guess I made it a little bit smaller. Oh, really bad timing. Seven pretenders... March on the Kosovo. On the first of the month. Once we get our morale. We can do that. Okay, I think Venice. Yeah, I think Venice is probably the one that we want. I like that back from Ferrara. That's normal, because they're allied to us now. They were rival of rival. All of us back. This fought hard for the frame being what it was. Let's go back over to those mountains and hope that we can get there before they pop out. Embargo, and now we can make another state up here in Croatia. Sounds like a plan. We could give that to an estate, but we'll see if we need any. Hmm. 
Hmm. We do one to outrage countries. Pretty close over here. But this guy's a babbling buffoon, which is a problem. Of course, he's also our military leader. Let's switch to this one. Just until we get an air. Hold that line. Teach filthy, I guess. On. Oh, and we lost. Okay, we'll try access, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we so we have some more morale before we'd want to do another fight. But we can't let them have these mountains, so. So Naples must be free. Arctis's arrival. Now that could work for us. That's scary. Let's call this guy back. And now they're over in Diplo relations as well. If we can get something like Bavaria. Power might as well consolidate that down and build Merc. Got five units of cavalry. It's annoying because that's larger than Bosnia's army was able to support. Okay, so the Renaissance hasn't spawned yet, so I'm not going to start developing. I would like to develop. So there, we don't really have any places where we could develop. It would be great for us. I mean, we could develop here for, for money. Now let's just have another unit of troops. And we're going to have to mark up. We just can't defeat them unless... Unless Hungary sends troops in to help us.
Okay. So for the best, they do have a lot of cavalry. But the train is in our favor. And they rolled poorly, so I think we got this. Good. a completely different group. And the left to our clergy, just to bring down the unrest, and then we'll just stick our army on top of it. I'll try to... Get rid of some of our expenses. Okay, that's not much debt for us considering that we have a gold mine. We can we can handle a bit of that. Let's keep an eye on our time here. Uh, Thirty-two minutes, so let's stop here. Thank you.